Hello, good evening. Thank you for tuning in. Let me turn off the echo delay. Well, we've made it, folks. Today is the 30th of December. You know what that means. This is our last live stream of the year 2020. Oh, what a dumpster fire it has been, as they say. Good evening, and thank you for joining me for another Project Healing Water special. Uh, tonight we are doing... Uh, I gotta update the uh, title to more properly reflect uh, the material. Uh, but tonight we are going to be tying a uh, variation of the fly of the day. And our good friend Dave has hooked me up. Up, look at this magic. This is uh, Dave's uh, secret. Secret? Well, not so secret. The cat's out of the bag. The fly of the day is. Uh, it's a favorite here in our waters, and we're gonna do our best to tie some up. And Dave has been so kind uh, to have uh, shared this pattern uh, with me, and uh, you know some variations of it, and. Uh, I believe it started off with a white mink cross cut. If I uh, understand correctly, if I'm, I'm not 100% certain. I think it's a cross cut mink originally. But anyways, this is a uh, faux uh, material, a faux hair material. And I tell you what, you take this and you just wrap it around your finger a million times and it would be... I don't know. Great. Looks like we uh, did a spiral cut on a stuffed animal or something. Not exactly, uh, I don't know. Dave comes up with this magic, and this is the, uh, this is the synthetic version. This is the faux fly of the day. Um, and we have a sample here. We'll go, go close with the sample. And it's a little bit of, uh, we'll start with the tail. I think I can read what the hook is. The hook is... Oh, it's stuck in there. Okay, it's a Mustad 3665A uh, 4X or a 79580 uh, 2X. Uh, with nine wraps of uh, a .030 uh, lead wire. And we'll show, we'll do that close up here on what I'm reading here. On, uh, Dave was kind enough to do some uh, prep work. And he does this a lot. He does, uh, I mean, I'm sure he's tied a bazillion million uh, FODs, uh, fly of the days, because uh, they work. That's the magic of it, is they just simply work. At least they do up here. And here's the variation of it. Um, it's like this was with a little bit of the added marker. That's, uh, anyways. So, yeah, here we are. Thank you all for tuning in. Josh, thanks for tuning in. Um, again, uh, congratulations to our winners of last week's uh, holiday Christmas giveaway. We had three participants. With three winners. Outstanding. Hip hip hooray. Round of applause. Anyways. Hot coffee. Look out. Anyways. Um, let's go ahead and just uh, slide myself around and we'll just switch to the other camera. Because that one's a little bit better anyways. Um, nope, not that one. We want this one. And spin myself around and let there be light. Boom. All right. Still haven't figured out a spot to put that dumb Kindle yet. But it shows me. All right, here we go. So, let's spin myself back around. Let's get one in the vise. This is our sample. Dave was so kind to give us a sample of the faux fly of the day. I do have some bona fide uh, regular uh, fly of the days. Um, 
keep them close, keep them special. My wife absolutely loves the fly of the day. For her, I think it's her probably number one fly other than something that she's tied or created. Um, so there is our sample. What do we think? Let's get this a little bit closer into the shot. All right, let's get a let's get um let's get the thread turning. And that is a sharp looking hook. It's got all the meat and potatoes ready in there, ready to go. Um. James, good evening. Dave, good evening. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Always appreciated. As I dump my thing over. So I suppose we should go with a red thread. And... Because we got to have the red thread up front. I don't want to do this with a 12 out. Let's go with this 6 out Flymasters. Not quite a 140, but it's a red, it's flat, it's waxed, and it's going to work fantastic for us. So, yeah, as we roll into the new year, let's talk New Year's resolutions. What do we got for New Year's resolutions? Um, obviously everybody's part of your New Year's resolution to, should be to do more fishing, obviously. Oh, I didn't mean to break that all the way off. I'll just cut off that tag in. So, on the back end of this, we have ourselves a little bit of uh, Marabou and a little bit of Flash. And... I think there's a little bit something extra about this marabou. Well, let's go ahead and start with our tail. Not exactly a chartreuse. But it is a fl in that fluorescent family. You can see the difference. But I'm sure all the bags were labeled as uh, chartreuse. Actually, no, this is probably labeled as a fluorescent yellow. Dale, good evening from Iowa. Thanks for tuning in. We are tying Dave's fly of the day, the faux fly of the day. Trying to compare my proportions. Right about there, right about there. And I'm just going to level this off right at the bump. We're lucky enough to have Dave tuned in tonight. Dave, you can um, chime in with any uh, constructive criticism. I'm sure you could tie these with your eyes closed. All right, what do we got for flash? We need something... Darned if I just had some plain gold flash a boost somewhere. I do have some of this. How brittle is this? 
Actually, this is holding up pretty good. So we're, I'm just going to take some of this uh, gold tinsel that I've got here. And let's see how many we got. Looks to me about a half a dozen dozen. Half a dozen twice, that looks like a half a dozen twice, or a dozen. My flash is just a little bit thicker. We're going to take this just a little bit past the tail. I don't know, about a thumb. Not too much further past. So let's go ahead and pick out which color faux we want to start with. I think we should start with this golden, the golden faux. <clears throat> This precious material, so I'm actually I'm not going to cut this material down at all because I want zero, absolutely zero waste. But to give myself a nice clean tie-in spot, I'm going to give us a little haircut. So it's a sewn material. We're going to call that the hide. And I'm just going to give that a little snip. Just above the hide. Tie it in upside down, inside out. I'm using a little bit thinner of a thread, so I just got to be careful. I think that'll work, it's just fine. What I'm not going to do, what I don't want to do, is I don't want to crowd the eye. Alright. I'm going to pause, take a little pause for the cause, because I need, um, I need Mr. Dave's advice. To glue or not to glue? For that is the question. This is a question for Dave. To glue or not to glue? Do I add a dab of a uh, little dab of Zappa Gap to hold this all down, or do you just send it? While we wait for Dave, we're going to say good evening to everybody else that's joined us tonight. December 30th, tomorrow is the 31st, New Year's Eve. Wow. Can you believe it? Get your new calendars up. Get your new calendars out. Get them up. Get them out. You know, now that I think about it, I think... I don't think Dave... Dave might be in a spot where he doesn't have constant reception. So he might not be able to might not be able to actually give us some bona fide input here. So I am just gonna add a little dab of a little dab of zappa gap. Just a thin little coat. Um, we're gonna call this a little bit of an insurance policy here. I'm gonna clear this open. Open sesame. means a ramrod of the old bodkin. There we go. Alright, so I want to make sure I don't dribble this all over the place. I'm just going to do a nice little thin coat. Some CA glue. Super thin coat. Bingo. I 
All right, now just of this, as if this was any kind of uh, rabbit strip or zonker strip, I'm just going to plumber this forward. And I just really don't want to trap any of the fibers. I definitely don't want to get them soaked into the glue. The opposite end here where you can't see off the camera off the right hand side. I'm just wrapping this all the way around the bobbin. And boy it's getting super twisted because every twist I do I put a twist in the system. But that's okay. Because we're going to give this a trim here soon. I really love this golden color. Wow. I remember seeing, uh, seeing pictures of the fly of the day being tied, sent from the, the winter homestead in Arizona. And a little piece of yard artwork outside or whatever. And Dave must have had, I don't know, 30 of them just kind of hanging in the little... Arizona, whatever typical yard artwork would be. All right, let's lock this down. We don't want to crowd the eye. We want to leave a couple eyes, not a couple eyes, like a good solid eye and a half back because we're going to be adding a feather up front. Look at that. I twisted it this many times. Probably and then some. But, you know, then again, I didn't want to cut myself a 8 inch, 9 inch piece to work with. Although that would have been easier to work with. However, comma, uh, there we go. So Dave recommends a little bit of, a little dab of, a little dab of do you of head cement. So I probably went a little overboard here with the, uh, the Zappa Gap, which is fine. Head cements, Sally Hansen's fine with me. I'd actually prefer that over the Zappa Gap. CA glue, man, that's some strong stuff. Here's a <laughs> here's some video of I I don't know. It's some it's a, a satire video, I guess, if you will, of a guy tying a fly, <clears throat> and he. Uh, he just ends up sniffing the glue so many times. So, um, I believe this is a uh, partridge feather that we've included in our Exhibit A bin. And I don't have any partridge feather. However, I do have, um, let me say this right, Tarna, the, the Tarnamigan. Tar, 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 tarmigan. 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 And I got some feathers from that. Got some tarmigan. So that's what we're going to use. We need some tarmigan feathers. Which is kind of like a uh, partridge or so. Um, however, um, it's similar but not same same style of bird I suppose let's go a little bit more modeled but it'll be all right this came from um, all the way from Norway actually we're gonna give that a clean and if I remember correctly we do tie these in tip first But I'm going to leave that out. This is going to be like a soft, just like we do any old soft hackle. Let's go ahead and give that a quick little trim. All right.
So, check your watches. You know what time it is. Yeah, it's hackle time. So I'll just take a few few reps. Dave taught me this one. It's called Sparse is Nars. Uh, he uh, taught me the concept, but I made up the Sparse is Nars part. This is just absolutely silly. So it looks like we got one, two, three, three ramps. Lock that feather in. <laughs> and then just build this up. Build a little head, and we'll put her to bed. I'm using a thin thread here tonight, so I'm going to have to... I always catch myself when I say this out at the VA, because I really don't... I don't know, it's things you say, but it might be quote-unquote inappropriate. I always catch myself when I say wrap the crap out of it but hey I'm in my own basement on my own YouTube channel I can say what I want but uh, give it a uh, solid um, coverage give it a nice close trim and and how when this sucker hits the water she is going to swim great all right, we're going to give this a little bit of insurance policy up front. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Some of the secret sauce, Sally Henson's. Yeah, exciting stuff, isn't it? For that, we get this bodkin. I ended up putting my little finger monkey on my tip of this bodkin. To the point where I've started decorating my bodkins with uh, finger puppet art. And you know where that's going? Nowhere, that's where. So this is a faux fly of the day. Faux is spelled F-A-U-X. Faux. Save that one for a Scrabble game. I tell you what, if anybody who's watching, all eight minus one of me, seven of us, if any seven of us that are watching tonight ever get around to throwing the word faux, F-A-U-X, in the word, in a, in a Scrabble game, let me know in the comments. Anybody uses faux in the word Scrabble. That would be cool. All right. So Dave says we did all right. Thank you, Dave. Again, thank you for... Uh, you know, hooking me up with the materials for this, um, and you know, a sincere thank you for everything you've done uh, as a uh, local guide slash mentor slash inspirer slash tool maker. I mean, there's so many hats that you wear, and um, on behalf of myself and everybody, you know, hey, we appreciate it. Um, so thank you, Dave. I'm getting a little emotional tonight. I don't know. So we'll set that one off to the side, and we're going to do another one. I'm going to have to make sure I keep an eye on this label. 3665As. I know I... 3665As or 489... Oh, 79850s. Here, we'll, we'll show this. 3665A, size 4, or, or not a size 4, but a uh, 2X, or a 4X, and a 79580, and that'd be a 2X long on the shank, I presume. misplaced my little ruler, my little gauge that's got the, uh, here we go, 
can at least see what we got here for the hook size. So this would be bum bum bum. And I believe this is what they call a limerick bend. Um, if I am correct or not correct, I believe that's uh, they call it a, a limerick bend. Um, just kind of off of the top of the, uh, the old brain. All right, let's pick a different color. We're gonna stick with this red thread. Didn't break it, so it worked so far. I'll we'll just lay a little bead, a little starter. I hate when I tie flies and I don't put them away right away, because then I start ending up with small little piles of flies on my bench, and sometimes <clears throat> it's not exactly a good problem to have. All right, let's go all the way to the back. And I'm gonna go with the uh, kind of a smoky, smoky gray. I don't know what color you would call that. But the first one, I, I believe uh, Dave hit that with his special marker. That I don't. You can't buy that. You can't buy that anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. Not available in all stores. Not available in any stores. Um, what is that material called? I don't know. We call it uh, magic. Magic material. Aaron, that is a uh, size two and four hook. The length is six X long. All right, there we have it. Six X long, size two and size four. There we go. 6x. Actually, you are right. I have that in a size 12, 8. I could tie it in a size 12. How weird would that be? I'd have to go deep into that barrel. Let's go with the same, uh, same marabou. At least on this first one. And then on the next one, I kind of want to go with the uh, a different colored. I think I might go hot pink on the marabou. All so it doesn't look like that's quite one hook's length. Not quite. Just feeling. We don't want to go a full 6x hook's length. That would be preposterous. I'll do a little loose wrap to capture it. And knowing Dave, I bet you normally he would have palmered that. But this is a little weak little feather. Reinforce that with some nice tight, tight wraps. Clean that up a little bit. Paid for the scissors, might as well use them. All right, let's take a little batch. And look at this tinsel that I'm using. This little bit of flash. It it, it almost kind of it's on a little pack similar to the uh, silly legs. So, and it's not quite as thin, so you'd want a fine, some fine flashaboo. I don't have any gold gold. Let's make sure I get that in there nice and tight. All right, back to the main. All right, we're going with.
with the uh, with the kind of a grayish. This I will cut and cut this into two pieces, I suppose. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a nice little close trim. But not into it. Fuzzy side in. That's why we kind of gave it a nice little close trim at first. thread give ourselves plenty of room up front to uh, do our two three turns of our tarnamigan tar tarmigan tarmigan tar sorry it, it's I, I go I go uh, what do you call it uh, Sesame Street when I come across words that are hard to pronounce tarnamigan tar tarmigan but the thing is, is it has a P in it. P-T-A-R. Now, I'm dyslexic. I'm not, I'm not making excuses or anything like that. But man, sometimes you just have to take a second and sound out some of these words. And boy, it'll mess you up if you start getting into these insect books. And you're coming across the ISO something or another... I don't even know what I'm looking at anymore. All right, here we go. Pay attention, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to say it just in case we're not um, able to uh, read it in the chat. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's see here. Dave Lee asks, Aaron and Dave, he says, what is the mink sub? So this is the faux material, the... Okay, it's a yarn from uh, Hobby Lobby, yarn B, for the moment. And uh, the magic sauce is the gold tipped uh, with the felt marker. So thank you, Dave. Thank you, Dave, for the good question. Thank you, Dave, for the um, hookup, literally. So Dave Lee, I did get your uh, email. Um, and I am exploring ways to bring in a um, another participant uh, and kind of have a uh, dialogue camera, live camera and camera um, apparatus going on. But um, that's some technical wizardry that we're going to have to get going. So we're just gonna slap a little bit of uh, secret sauce on there, right off of the old uh, brush. That's all right. I'll have to be super precise. No bod can need it at that moment, for we will be taking some uh, touching wraps. Palmer this forward, and because it was uh, secret sauce, Sally Hansen's. Not zap a gap. I'm not as afraid to accidentally touch it with my fingers, so I can really get some nice tight, tight wraps. And each time I'm pulling, I'm pulling in on it. Don't be shy. Slack is evil. Who can tell me? I don't know if you've seen it, but I've been to a fly shop that has that as a uh, wall hanger, a little sign art. Slack is evil. Let's go one more wrap or two. 
think that's going to be it right there because I don't like crowd in the eye. Let's go one more wrap. Alright, let's go ahead and lock this off. Excellent. Fly of the day, the faux fly of the day. You know, this should be the fly of the year. If I could submit it, if I may submit. Oh, I felt that happen as I pulled on it too tight. All right. No crying over broken thread, right? Let's give it a quick repair. Only other red option handy at the moment was a uh, A dot or a S twelve, and that wasn't gonna work. All right, recovered. All right, let's grab our Tarnamigan, Tarmig, Tarmigan, um, and Dave uses a, uh, I believe it's a partridge feather, which I believe this is, but it's in the same kind of partridge family, I suppose. Bum, bum, bum. I got both sides. I got the left side and the right side. This came all the way from Norway. A little Norwegian, um game bird I kind of go with one with the same kind of a white tip to it oh. just grab it and pull grab it and pull it's kind of who who here let me know in the chat in the comments can take a banana who do I know? Anybody I know can take a banana. Just close your eyes. Namaste. Snap it and break a banana in half without mushing it all to pieces. If you can do that, you have reached level 7 of uh, banana foolery, I guess. Alright, I'm going to tie it in by the tip. Tied in by the tip, top side up, or top side, yeah, top side up. And we're going to just coax those fibers back. Leave ourselves a little notch to tie in. And I like to go in kind of at an angle. It's locking wraps, that's all it takes. You know what time it is. It's hackle time. And let's make sure we got this twisted the right way. Keep these fibers, not these fibers, but these barbules coaxed to the rear. Gonna do that last wrap. That was a that's too much moment. The inner force told me to stop it. All right, let's get a nice close trim. So whenever I got to get a nice close, precise, precision cut, I mentioned this all the time when I was at the VA. But rest your scissors on your thumb. You'd be really surprised how much more accuracy and precision you'll get. Um, which there's a whole nother discussion on uh, precision versus accuracy. At least 
from my old surveying days, land survey days, sit around and have the discussion of precise versus accurate. But we will save that for another day. I'll end this with a whip finish. And a little dab of glue with some secret sauce. And Bob's your uncle. There was a YouTuber I watched. He always said he said that on after a few uh, a few of his flies he finished or whatever. Blah, da 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 da. And Bob's your uncle. I don't know what that means. Hope it's not a a bad term. Hope I just didn't like offend a whole bunch of people. Who's Bob? Why is he my uncle? I don't know. But there you have it, folks. That is a uh, part due of the faux fly of the day. Wow, that first one. I'm just keep looking at that first one. That gold. That's magic, man. Absolute magic. And I think that... Oh, a little bit of red thread just kind of still poking through there. But it's tight in there. It shouldn't be going anywhere. Boy and how. We are looking good for this one. We are absolutely looking good for this one. Well, I mean, it's not every day anybody can just walk up and just get some actual um, white mink. Um, man, these are some good looking flies. I, I, I just absolutely love these. Get it while it's hot. Yarn. Yarn bee. For the moment. For the moment. You know, now... Now I kind of want to knit something. <laughs> Have a pair of mittens or something with this. Alright, let's set this off to the side. That's going... That's going right in the box. I'll tell you that for free. Leave that for free. Let's take our next hook. I have to slow down on these because I only have a f two, four, six more. We're going to do one of each color tonight that Dave hooked us up with. Um, so. Hook in the vise. Cover our thread here once I get my, or cover the hook again once I get my thread started. Okay, here we go. The hook is a 3665A for a size 4 or a 79580 size 2. They're both are 6X and some uh, wraps of uh, 0 0.03 lead wire. Get some weight on it. That's what we got there. And I'm using a skinny little, uh, what I say, a 70 denier, 70 denier uh, flat wax thread. I like a flat wax thread. That's fun to say too. Flat wax thread. That could be a band name, flat wax thread. All right. Let's see. We're gonna go ahead. Ooh. I think this is gonna go. This is gonna go pretty well here. Let's grab our. So 
I know a, a very traditional color is uh, red, um, but I'm going to go off the beaten path here and surprise you with a different color other than red. Not quite a fluorescent yellow. I wonder if this comes up under the UV. Not quite. Wow, not as bright as that other tail, but <clears throat> how about this? How about a hot orange? Shorten that up just a little bit. I like that. I'll take my thread right up to where the wire starts. This will help keep that body nice and even, Stephen. And this kind of fills the gap as far as the uh, you know spacing. It's the same, same, um, not quite exactly the same, but it's not just a bare, bare empty hook. I need a thicker red thread, but I couldn't find any. go with a uh, different color I suppose but I like the red threads I like the look of it I guess you could go with a white white thread and then just color it at the very end which is an option ladies and gentlemen don't forget about that a flash for the back. I want these to extend out just a little bit past the tail, which I believe would probably just be a hook's length thereabouts, yeah. I set that not the gray I wanted to go with the black so there's the black there's the white and then there's the gray and then you can take a uh, I got a couple this is my gold Copic I mean, geez, Louise. But for my other color color markers, I really like to use the uh, pro markers. But we won't need any colors tying in this uh, black. Now, what's nice about this, I guess, if it's sold as a yarn for for knitting and knitters. You know, it has some structural integrity. It's not like it was just a spiral cut off of a teddy bear. Those edges are um, have a factory finish on them. So uh, let's go bananas with it. Let's trim off a little bit of a patch here. This will get us just a little bit closer as we tie this in. that 
fuzzy side in. Right on the side. So I guess looking forward, moving forward, uh, you know, getting deep and, you know, uh, kind of on my tangents. As we move into the year of 2021, let us all kind of acknowledge that, uh, you know, we nobody asked for uh, 2020 to come out this way. Nobody wanted this. I, I, I highly doubt, you know, as much as the conspiracy theorists I want to say this was a planned event. I really don't think so. Um, but, you know, make make time for yourself um, this next year. Uh, give yourself opportunity to learn, expand, and grow. Uh, take a few risks, uh, healthy risks, not a dangerous risk, but a healthy risk, as in, um, learn something new, uh, exploring something new, going somewhere new, um, but do it, you know, safely and responsibly. Um, hopefully, you know, hopefully, I think maybe this next year, uh, Bob Mitchell's Fly Shop will have their uh, uh, fishing tournament, oh, what do you call it, the Grand Slam or Grander Slammer or... Uh, the grandest of all slams. Um, I think that changes every year, uh, what they call it. But, uh, you know, I just want to catch as many species as I can. And I think my goal, a 2021 20, resolution for next year, is to get down to the driftless region of Minnesota and do some uh, trout fishing. I'd also love, love, love to get up north and uh, catch a steelhead run or something like that but uh, this year that wasn't much of an option for me at least um, I guess you always have options but we're going down that road but I think it's just a you know continue exploring uh, Minnesota we hit like five state parks here at the end of the fall which is so much fun considering uh, we were going weekdays off time off period and it was like getting pretty cold outside at night times so I think we have one more And I guess, you know, as much as we wanted to, you know, talk about having a nice, even Stephen body, if you do look kind of closely, it does have a slight taper to this. Um, so, fish some water you've never fished before exactly that's what we're trying to do I kind of like that orange and black all right so let's grab our ptarmigan 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 Go for a slightly bigger one this time. I'd rather go slightly bigger than smaller on this one. Yeah. See how easy that is? It's just think about it and go for it. You just have to send it. Sorry about the slurp, I forgot to hit the mute button. Alright, let's get ready to tie this in here. Grab it right by the tip. Fold that back. Tie this in right at 
Is that little crisscross? I think you wanna jump, jump. towards the rear. That's okay. We want to keep it sparse. If I flatten my thread a little bit, I'll get a little bit more width out of it. There we go. Now we're getting some coverage. Skinny thread means lots of wraps. A wise man once says. cement little dab of glue you and we'll fish that just fine 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 it's seven, almost 1900 holy smokes we're gonna have to do a quick dig to uh, find some other hooks I think so The name of the game on this fly is, I guess, the. You will really want that long shank. Give that plenty of body. Get this hackle up front. And you got yourself a fly of the day. Well, this is a foe. The foe fly of the day. The FFFOD. F F O D F F O D whatever tomatoes tomatoes except if you see somebody who actually says tomato I'd probably want to <laughs> call them out on it like you what no man some say tomato I don't know man I don't know what planet you come from where you say tomato Boy, that just turned out fantastic. Did I? Did I lose that? Yep, we did. All right, we're gonna do a quick. Reinforcement. I won't add another dab of glue on top of that again. Got 
because I didn't want to go through all this effort just for it to fall apart on account of a skinny thread on the head. Alright, that head is not winning any beauty contest, however, comma, it will in fact work. In fact, let's do that twice. I uh, will add another little dab of glue. Quality control. Quality control. There you have it. Alright, that one works. It's as best as I could come with a uh, partridge substitute. I like that orange. Let's do our last one in orange. Bump it a bum. Let's grab. Then we'll have to dig for. Oh, we might not have to dig too far for a hook. I've got, I've got a secret stash. Oh, those are 33, 66s. 7x. Might be a little bit. We'll see. We'll have to compare. We'll have a we'll have a compare and contrast session. Our next hook that we're gonna use. We're going to carry this all the way on to uh, 1800 tonight, so um, this will finish the kind of batch of one of each um, hair color that Dave was so kind to supply me with. So again, thank you, Dave. Take our thread to the rear, and I'm going to go with this uh, orange again. Feels just a little long. I'm not saying it has a stubby tail, it just has. I guess it's just like in proportion to its body. Because we throw that uh, flashaboo in there, and that will. Extend that tail out a little bit. Wrap our thread back to the rear. Where we'll tie in our Little bits of gold, a flash of boo. Oh, flash, not flash of boo. Oh, 
this one and we hug slicks. Just a little tickle past the length of the marabou it looks like. There we go. Boy, Dave, there's a whole mountain of list of flies. I, I I can't wait. Really looking forward to um, all of us being able to gather again and um, get this vaccine and get back to business. That's what I'm ready for. Because if we remember, if I do recall, uh, right when this was all kind of starting to happen, uh, the St. Cloud Project Healing Waters program, boy, we were fixing to expand. We were looking to, you know, our outpatients were starting to crowd out our inpatients, and which was a great problem. Absolutely great problem. And, you know, it was just like, let's find a spot where we can expand and then BAM this hit and that's where we are now I mean we can sit here we can whine and cry about it and we can move forward which is what I want to do is I want to just uh, wish this year goodbye and a ring a ding ling a ling in the new year All right, let's add a little, little dab of uh, insurance policy on the inside. Looks like my fingers take a, are taking on a little bit of that orange dye from that marabou. Eek. This is why we don't lick our fingers. I have not been eating Cheetos. No siree, not tonight. It's been a minute since I've had some Cheeto fingers. Although the Cheetos have been really trying to hit me with the advertisements. I've been watching, seeing quite a few Cheeto commercials on the old uh, YouTube. So, does YouTube... Because uh, uh, I honestly, I, I can't... I'll never know what happens on my own channel. I guess maybe I, it's different because I'm tuned in. But does YouTube throw what kind of, uh, I, don't, I know they don't do any advertisements during my live stream, I don't think. But, you know, because I'm not a channel that monetizes, you know, I'm not chucking in 15 advertisements because if you come across a YouTube video or a YouTube channel and you're watching the video and there's like five ads in there boy that person whoever that youtuber is is trying to make some make a little bit of extra coin off of their videos because they are trying to get as much of the monetization off of the system as possible which I don't do because we are here to just share and tie flies. Tie flies by sharing, sharing by tying flies. Either way, we're having a good time. Every Wednesday, that's kind of kind of my plan is you know, now we, at least for me, my plan is, is until I get my, uh, my COVID-19 vaccine, we are going to be maintaining, um, the live stream. So, I know it's getting out there to the healthcare professionals and the, those who are working in 
nursing homes, extended care, ex yada yada yada. But we'll see. We shall she. Look at that fur ball. <laughs> Boy, that's no white mink, but man, that is nice. Tarmigan feather. That's what we're using tonight. Spin it to win it. Tie this in by the tip. Top side up. Top side up. and close. Hot dog, we are having a good time. Alright. You know what time it is, ladies and gentlemen? It is ackle time. But tonight we're tying with a, a time again. But it's spelled with the P. The P is silent. All right. Let's lock you off. Gotta whip it and whip it good. Get out. There we go. It got in the loop of the whip finish. The whip loop. And I said, Nyet. Get back there. And I think that's what, that's half the magic of the original fly of the day is that front end. There's something. So there's something to that that smallmouth bass can't resist. I don't know what it is. And I guarantee you, if I were to go out and throw this in the river, a fish would jump up and say, Hi, Dave. And I would say, Ha ha! It may be a Coleman fly, but it's not a Coleman original. Be wrong. A little bit too big of a drop. 
little dabble glue you, a little bit of insurance policy up front. Boom, bada, bang. That is what I am talking about. A faux FOD. Man, oh man. Now that's what I'm talking about. Let's see here. Ha <laughs> I got just the hook. Good evening, James. Thanks for tuning in. Sam says he's got some other for the moment and chocolate brown. Ooh, is that the kind you're using for the body? Yes, it is. Uh, for the faux, we are using the uh, fur of the moment um, in white, black, and kind of this uh, grayish. And the yellow or the white has a little, a uh, little bit of a golden. A little golden tint to it. Kind of muddy that up a little bit. So we do have our options. We like it. We like this. We like this. And lo and behold, we've got our must have had 3665 A's. Let's go with a size 4. So here's the same hook. Turns out I actually I do have a couple of these. Not minis though. This I'm gonna just use my white thread. 210 fat waxed. Ooh, that's nice. You can really feel, I can feel the difference between 210 and a 70 denier thread. Feels good, so good. Okay, we need to add some weight. That's where's our wire. That's 0.15. Can my headset reach? All right. Here we go. The last, last little bits of it, huh? And uh, one thing I guess we will take a second and pay attention to is let's get, a, get one of the sample hooks out with the pre wrapped. So this is the kind of the zone we're looking at for our. Our wire. Okay. Kind of like a clouser. You can't. We're not going to just throw uh, throw this wire on all willy nilly. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh boy, I forgot. What did we say? Eight or nine? Nine. 
Looking for the cutters under the bags of heckles. We're gonna go way down into there. a thread into this wire. You know what, I'm going to add just a little dab of head cement into this as well. And being a super long shank, and this might actually be uh, a little bit longer, I think. This feels just a tick longer. I believe so, yes. All the material uh, is the fur for the moment. Yarn be for the moment. For meow. Alright, let's do a... thread back to the rear, back to the back. And instead of a gold, I'm going to add in some pearl. So now we're, now we're going down the rabbit hole of variations. We've tied a few of the gold ones. Now we're going to add some pearl flashaboo to this pink one. We're going to multiply by dividing. What did I got? I don't know. Half a dozen strands. Now we got about a dozen or so. Just extend these out, tick past the tail. I don't, I 
don't want to use these. I do, but I don't. Yeah, we're gonna send it. We'll use them. Fold them back, tie it in. That's all right. As good as gold. Let's go with the pink. I think this black would go good with the pink again. The contrast of the the bright, sharp, eye popping pink and the dark body, I think, is going to be fantastico. This will get us just a little bit closer to the. I, I don't know. The webbing? I guess we could call it a webbing, not, not really the hide. But either way, we want to tie that in. Nice and tight. Boy, I sure feel the difference after switching from a 70 to a 210 denier. Holy smokes, what a difference a proper thread will make. All right. Let's add some insurance policy into this one. A little bit of, a little dab of glue, a little bit of, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a secret sauce. Sally Hansen's. There, don't you know? All right, so out of those of us who are watching, um, how many of us have not missed a single uh, session? Um, who has been with us every Wednesday? Does anybody have a quote-unquote perfect attendance? Cause that's something to brag about. Perfect attendance. I know most of us are, you know, watch a lot of these after the fact when they're uh, videos. And I guess something you can do is, I believe you can either speed up or slow down uh, YouTube videos. If you're watching on your, uh, I believe on your mobile device after it's a video. So, you know, if there's anything you ever see, want done super slow motion um, that's something as an option when I first started this YouTube channel I would do a how to tie tutorial video and I did a lot of videos and one of the things I uh, really got tired with as a an established fly tire was watching honestly was watching other youtubers uh, fly tying videos uh, there's some out there that just make your head hurt, make your face hurt just watching it. It's like, what is that? Um, but we're not here to judge them. We're here to learn from them, which is why we're sitting here where we are with this angle, watching these hands tie this fly the way it is. All roads lead here. So, I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just kind of jibber-jabbering at this point. Lock that off. I really try to separate, you know, as much of that hair out of the way. And we got a, two more out of that one, probably.
And I guess if you have somebody who's like super sensitive to, you know, a lot of materials, you know, allergies or whatever, or, you know, you want to tie with the kids or don't want your material to expire, <laughs> um, this would be a great substitute for a lot of different things. Oh, let's see here. Let's get our heckle. You. I suppose if you wanted we could do like a grizzly grizzly hackle but since this is a special evening a special fly the final fly of 2020 how about that ladies and gentlemen we made it we all made it here together um safe and sound at least I have um, boy, this is a nice one got some length to this but yeah next year 2021 let's let's do some fly tying together let's let's do some fishing. Get our rods bent. Tell some stories. Some tall tales. Can't lie about the fish you caught if you don't go fishing. Am I right or am I right? I think I'm right. Can't lie about the fish you caught if you don't go fishing. You got nothing to lie about. One last turn here. Nope, that's too much. The trick with soft tackles is knowing when to say when. You just don't, you simply don't want to overdo it. Because once you overdo it, you've done it. And you got to go back and undo it. I don't have any pink, but I do got some red. Nice little red head up front. That'll be pretty darn slick. We'll just color our thread a little bit with our... This, I like this color. Poppy. Poppy red. Just work our way down. We got just enough for our whip finish. I like that one. Fantastico. We'll dabble glue you a little bit of head cement up front and we'll be all right, all right, all right. All right, head cement.
And we're going for practical here with our head cement. That's why we're using our Sally Hansons. We're not just going for a, a decorative, nice, big, glossy blob up front. We want the sucker to soak in there. Looks like it's coming out just a little bit orange. That's all right. I like it. I like the pink. Dave, I'll have to let you know how many fish I, I catch on the pink. But the fly of the day has been a staple in our waters here in central Minnesota for a few years now. I think this goes back to what, 2004, 2005, Dave? I don't know the exact, don't remember the history on this, um, but um, yeah. They, or, uh, Josh, see you checking out uh, for the evening. Yeah, Happy New Year's to you and yours. Uh, send your best to your family and uh, cheers to 2021. See you next year, buddy. Tell you that for free. See you next year. I always loved that. My favorite thing when elementary school, telling all your friends, see you next year. See you next year. Nuh uh. I'll see you next year. Uh uh. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, this is going to have to get a special little category. I'm going to have to expand my. FOD box to FOD and FFOD. FOD, FFOD. Here we go. All right, where are we at? We got time for one more? Yeah, we got time. Plenty of time. Let's find our hooks. I set those down behind me. And I am using a size, what did I say, size, what did we do, size 6 or size 4? I like this size 4. Must add 3665 eight. And I think, yeah, I keep wanting to double check myself. Size 4. 3665A. That's what this box is labeled. 3665A. Boom. Size 4. Bum, bum, bum. I also have it in a size f uh, without the A, which is a lighter wire. So the difference between the A and the not A is the not A will be the lighter wire. Which we're smashing bass with this, so we're going to want to go with a heavier gauge wire. I said wire, so that means we're going to add some 030 on free wire. Nine wraps one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I hate doing that. But the nippers are not at their home, so I don't know what to say or do about that. Get that position just about right. Fantastico. Alright, we'll start our thread. We'll go right in front. Work our way through. And if we want, and I think Dave uses a uh, kind of like a poly nylon. Um, Get this put on at first when he's doing the bulk ties. 1998. Holy 
a Samokas. Outstanding, Dave. So this is a true tie, a tried and tested pattern. So if you're out fishing with this, as they say, it's not the flies that suck. <laughs> um, blame the moon people. And when I say moon people, I mean, I like to blame. When I'm having a bad day on the water and I got nobody else to blame, I blame the moon people. And that's just uh, the solar moon phase chart whatever you want to call it I call that the moon people so when I'm having a tough time on the water I blame the moon people all right let's go with the chartreuse I like this hot fluorescent yellow Nineteen ninety eight. I was a junior in high school. Fill that meat and potatoes up. Trim off. Perfecto. I kind of like that, uh, the, the pearl flash boo in there, so let's go ahead and try that. Let's do another little batch of that. I'm just going to snip off, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Five strands. We're going to multiply by dividing, which means we're going to take those all, fold them together, and trim the yas loop. See, now we have exactly double, twice as many as what we started off with. like the sparseness of it. I don't want to go two bananas. Got to keep the, the length and then just a little bit of a tail. All right, we got ourselves, let's go with the, I want to do another, we got a chartreuse one with the cream. Or no, this was the sample. This was exhibit A. I thought, no. Oh, here's the... <laughs> well, let's go with another dirty one. A little dirty, dirty tan, yellow, a little dirty gold. Again, and give us a nice close trim. If it was a hide, that's what would be cutting close to. Let's make a little little notch. Good and tight. All right, 
Let's add a little bit of Sally Hansen's on the inside. Well, I tell you what. Now, I used to get my uh, I used to get all my uh, Sally Hansen's head cement at a place called Shopco. However, Shopco no longer exists, and I don't want to pay target prices. For my Sally Hansen's. Shopco would always have, not always, but every now and then I would come across it and it would be on sale. I've got plenty, plenty of other head cements. Gopher's uh, Bargain Center here on the east side of town was a nice supply of and you know you're getting what you pay for when you go to Gopher's Bargain Center. You can't can't walk out of there expecting uh, your fingernail polish to be uh, a USDA grade A choice. Um, and for our non-St. Cloud audience, uh, Gopher's Bargain Center is a, an establishment here in St. Cloud that if a store goes out of business and Gophers Bargain Center can get a good enough of a bargain on it, they'll buy the inventory and then resell it at their own place, at their own deal. And, you know, they got everything you need but nothing you want. A little bit of everything. I don't know. It's kind of like, kind of, it's almost an everything store. I mean, you get a gallon of paint, you can get box of off-brand cereal because they do got groceries there you can also get a nice couch furniture and junk good old gophers I used to go there maybe once uh, once a quarter I used to go there quarterly or so that way when I I always like to make sure that when I do go everything's moved or at least a whole bunch of stuff is moved and it's like okay because if you're there, if you shop there often enough and you never notice the new inventory coming and going, it might get a little tough. I don't know. Well, let's add our hackle one last time. I am substituting, let me read it, uh, the ptarmigan. 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 Actually, I did the Google... Speak this word for me, ptarmigan, so I could say it properly. This shall work. And then just take the stuff you don't want, strip it right off, and it leaves you this nice little, nice little handle to work with. bad boy in by the teep and this you don't want to muscle as much as you did when you strip that back fuzz off And that's half the magic too. Um, I don't know if anybody else has a bell on their bench, but I think that helps with the hackle. At least I've established at my bench most hackle applications seem to go just a little bit better with the proper bell.
nice quality solid head up front and we'll finish this with a little bit of red marker I'm using a poppy red soak in there and then you can watch it slowly work its way forward dun 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 and then we whip it and whip it good Fantastic. And a little dab of glue you head cement up front and this will be a fly of the day. This will be the last fly of the year off this bench. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I might tie. come up down here and tie a few tomorrow. Wife has a day off tomorrow. Or no, she works tomorrow. So we might tie something tomorrow. Might not be a live stream. It might be. I don't know. But moving forward, you know, it's been a, uh, an interesting year here. The 2020 has been. Um, but, you know being that we've made it all the way this far uh, level 12 subsection level 30 2020 we made it um, yeah I, I don't know what else to say uh, you know we're gonna keep at it we're gonna keep doing this um, that's kind of my my pledge and my promise to my my fellow veterans my fellow viewers um, etc cetera, etc cetera. So, and I need to write this down real quick. Oh, and I had a brand new pen, which is upstairs next to my game. Let's write this down. I need to write down this yarn be, be or yarn yarn be good or yarn 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 be what? I gotta. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Hola smokes for the moment. chat that I missed. Uh, let's see here. 372 flies per skein. Da, 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 da. Anyways. So yeah, we're going to leave this. Uh, I think we're going to leave this at that. Um, it's been a, it's been a year. Um, Um, but you know, I, 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 I can't do this without you guys tuning in um, week after week. Um, you know, uh, there's been my highlights and my lowlights. There's been a couple of times where I just wanted to pack this all up and say forget about it. But um, each time I just kind of recommit myself to uh, come back here week after week, uh, every Wednesday, rain or shine. And we're gonna keep at it. We're gonna keep sharing um, the love, sharing the fly tying. Um, and uh, next year, 2021, we're gonna be at it. And that's what we're gonna do. So happy New Year's to everybody. Um, let's celebrate the incoming of the new year. Let's wave this one goodbye. And uh, be kind to each other, be kind to yourselves. Um, 
you know, don't make a resolution or a pledge to, you know, drop the 15 pounds. If you don't want to do that, if you don't really mean it, don't waste your time trying to commit yourself to that. Uh, commit to something that will better yourself and better um, your environment. So, uh, peace and good luck, everybody. Happy New Year's. Thank you all for watching. Happy tying tight lines. Peace. Thank you.